Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel. So behind me is my 2009 3500HD with a Duramax. So what we're gonna do is change the fuel filter in it. One of the first upgrades I did to the truck was install a fuel filter access door. I'll include a link in the description below as far as where I bought that. What you do is cut out a section of the inner fender liner. The easiest way to do it was completely remove the inner fender liner and then install that little door. So the door is about three quarters of an inch bigger around on all three sides. And it's just held in place with some little push pins. So inside you can see the very bottom of the fuel filter. The first thing I do is disconnect the wire lead for the water and fuel sensor and then remove the filter. Once I have the filter out then I remove the water and fuel sensor from the bottom of the filter and then reinstall it in the new filter. The filter that I use is a Hastings FF1230. I use that primarily because I can get it about two miles away from home at a local farm and ranch store and it's about $28. After I have the filter out, I tip it upside down in a, a long funnel and place that funnel in a bottle and allow the diesel fuel to drain out. And then I get a specialized wrench that I have, which is right there. I actually bought that from the same place that I bought the fuel filter access door. It's uh, Mad Jack Racing or Mad Jack Diesel. Definitely include the link in the description below on uh, where to get that as well as some other parts. I'll let that drain for a few minutes and then I'll use that wrench to pull out the water and fuel sensor and in the meantime I will unwrap my new filter and get that ready to install. And here's what the water and fuel sensor looks like. I will pull off this old o-ring And it has a plastic cap that comes over the top of the filter and when I pulled that cap off the o-ring fell out this o-ring on any of the brands of filters I've used it's always a challenge to get that o-ring to stay in place when you're installing the filter And I usually will also smear just a little bit of diesel fuel on this o-ring. It makes it slip over the bottom of the filter housing a lot easier. Before I started to do this trick, I would sometimes spend five minutes or more trying to get this filter to slip up over the housing. Snug this down. It's been so long since I changed this filter that I forgot to check that. So my other large o ring was stuck up on that filter housing. There we go, now it's threading right on. And then we'll go ahead and reconnect the water and filter sensor. And then we'll move up into the engine bay. That zoomed in right on the top of the filter housing. That little screw that you see is the bleed screw. So I cracked that open with a standard screwdriver. And then this here is the prime button. So crack that bleed screw open and then press the prime button until fuel starts to come out of that bleed screw. If I remember right, it takes about 36 to 40 presses of that prime bulb to get it where it's primed with fuel coming out. And I usually get a towel and 
poke down around that bleed screw. So I cracked the bleed screw open just about one turn. One, two, three. That's 10. And that's 20. Yeah, it needs to be open about two and a half turns. That's 30. Now that the bleed screw is open a little bit more, each time you press the prime button, you can hear it hiss out some air. So let's keep going. That's 38 pumps. The fuel started to bubble out and I can hear it. Then I'll just take my towel and dab up any of that fuel that leaked out. And then we'll check for leaks. And once we get everything buttoned up and everything, then I make a note of the mileage. It's 57,153. Yeah, it's a 10 year old truck and I don't drive it very much. And then I'll scroll through the driver information center and get to the fuel filter life remaining display 25%. And then we'll hit the check mark button, which resets that. Press and hold it for a few seconds and then it resets. And my truck, it's over here to the right of the instrument panel. And then we'll call it a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's fairly easy to change that fuel filter. It took me about 15 minutes from start to finish. What makes the project a lot easier is having that little fuel filter access door that I purchased online, which I'll definitely include a link in the description below. Anyway, thanks. Until next time, enjoy your afternoon.